we're going to talk about the Titans. Obviously, they reported today, took their conditioning test, and they'll have a That's team meeting great. tonight. And then they will hit the field tomorrow. Yo, time to go on board already. You know what it is? Thank you, Lord. I think when you look at training camp that you have to build a certain foundation. Hopefully with you know the foundation of effort and finish, technique, fundamentals, accountability, building trust. Those are all things that, that we believe in. Day one of camp practice as the Titans begin another climb they hope will lead to a deep postseason run. Don't take anything that we do out here for granted. Don't take this opportunity for granted here. Don't take practicing okay, with each other and getting better and building a team. Break them down and let's roll. Here we go. Good job, Elijah. I try and uh, think of a key word and then focus on that throughout practice. And today was uh, efficiency. We, the rookies were out here a couple of days early, and you know it's hot. Uh, we're getting a lot of reps, and like later on in practice, your technique starts to um, you know fall off a little bit, and that's when you need to be most efficient. So that's what I was focusing on today. This is how we practice. Okay, this is what the expectations are. Okay, and the ones that can battle through it are going to be the ones that end up sticking around, helping us win, developing a role. Okay, because they have a foundation. Today marks step one of what the Titans hope will be a long journey that goes well into February. Training camp practice number one in the books for the two-tone blue here at St. Thomas Sports Park. The place that I want to start, though, is with A.J. Brown. I think it's a fair assessment to say that I think we could see A.J. Brown take a substantial leap in year three. A.J. Brown might wear number 11, but hands down, he has been the Titans' number one receiver in week one of training camp. For me, like, I'm always a student first. You know, I'm always trying to watch something to learn and put it in my game. And it's offseason, you know, I wasn't really able to, like, get out there as much. But as soon as I got back here, like, as soon as I got back, I just, I just felt comfortable, like, you know. Um, like I said, I could do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. Some of the, the, the back end receivers, mm -hmm. Chester Rogers, Marcus Johnson, those guys have stood out. This is year six for me, so uh, I've seen everything, you know, the good, the bad, and I think just going through those training camps and learning that, obviously, you got to do it every day. No one cares what you did yesterday. Nobody cares, you know, what you did last year or the, your rookie year. So it's just staying consistent, honestly, and just doing it over. Obviously, it's a team sport, and um, what you can pass down um, to help guys, to coach guys, to help them understand the game, not take the game the way I play the game, but um, take little things from me, you know what I'm saying? And um, everybody has to be coachable, but you have to make it your own and go out there and be the best version of yourself. It's perhaps the biggest question facing the Titans this season. How will the defense do? 2021 marks a new beginning for the Titans, D, as they look to turn things around. Let's go, man. Let's be detailed today. Let's be detailed. Oh. Nice job, Rashawn Evans. <laughs> and I've been super motivated just the entire offseason, working my butt off, making sure they're working on every part of my game to make sure I can be the best leader I could possibly be for this team. Every day, corners, every day. Shot. Go ahead and fight through that one. We're still just building our foundation just right now. I've been really impressed with just the, the energy and the tempo and, and just the excitement of training camp. Uh, I think guys, especially guys on the defense, uh, we've been really practicing and playing with a chip on our shoulders because we obviously know that last year wasn't good enough. I think that's just been the message, uh, you know, just throughout, just everybody having a chip on their shoulder and trying to, you know, put, put last year behind and, you know, build a whole new team this year.